I said that women advertise themselves. Women don't normally walk up to men, to lots of men, and approach them. You don't you don't walk up to every guy you see that's attractive and approach them. The man, and not only that, you would respect it more if a man would approach you. So men approach and women advertise themselves. So from that standpoint, since you're not meeting certain guys, right? So let me finish. Since you're not attracting certain guys that meet your qualifications, that you would want to even have them guys get down on one knee to marry you, if you're not meeting those guys, that means that you need to change something about yourself. That's what I'm saying. Right, so so the one thing that I need to change, you're saying, is just to lose weight. I'm saying the one thing you need to change is to lose weight and to get in the gym and you will become more attractive that's to it. more men. It's, 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 it's based to... off of beauty. But that's never been an Yeah, but for... big is still beautiful. But it, I've what never I'm you, it is. Not for a lot listen, of men. Listen, listen, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want a man who's only... So basically, y'all boys, I know this is kind of a long video, but <clears throat> let me just give y'all some quick context. So it's something like podcast, and it's this, it's this woman on here, as y'all can see, she's basically, her emotions are so invested because she's not hearing logically, she's just hearing based on how she feels, so she's not really picking up on what this guy's saying. What she's hearing is she doesn't have any value because she's bigger. That's what she's hearing, and that's hurting her ego and whatnot. And what he's explaining is, women they don't do the approaching they make themselves seem to be able to be approached by men right because we go out here we shoot the shots we go out here make the initiative you see what i'm saying we make the approach and that's what the women want us to do as men they want to feel wanted all, all women want to feel wanted and he's basically telling her that look if you're not getting the men that you want the ones that's supposed to be qualifying for you and the ones that you want to get down on one knee and commit to you then the one thing that you need to change is you need to hit the gym and you need to get in shape because that is what a man is going to judge you based off how you look because men we visual we go based off what we see if we don't like what we see we gonna leave it at that so the whole looks don't matter that's complete bs like, if you don't like how a girl looks you're not gonna want to pursue her you see what i'm saying you're not gonna want to get to know her you're definitely not gonna cuff a girl that you're not physically attracted to so he's basically trying to get her to understand that if you're not getting the man that you want to pursue you to commit to you to want to date you then you need to look in the mirror and you need to hit the gym and you need to get in shape now he didn't say it like to that tone he broke it down in a way that she needs to understand because she's in her feelings because she's hearing that she doesn't have any value and that no men are gonna want her because she, because she's bigger. But that's not what he's saying. Yes. Okay, I, I don't think we don't want a man, look, we don't, look, you just caught him short. We don't want a woman that's only gonna base us based off our height. I'm six foot four, he's five eight. But you but said I, that he's disqualified because he's five eight. didn't judge his character. But okay, but you judge his height and he doesn't qualify for you. Okay, but that's not saying. And we're saying, but, but that, look, look, time out. The same way he doesn't qualify for you, with your figure, a lot of guys you won't qualify for. And that's what you have to realize. But me as a person, I'm not... I guess previously in the video, she said that the dude that's 5'8", he too short, so he don't qualify for her. But this is what you got to understand, bro. She's sitting on this podcast crying because she thinks that she doesn't... She thinks that they saying that she doesn't have any value because of her size. But she's sitting here judging the dude based on his height. Now... For the short dudes out here, just anybody out here, you get what I'm saying? Regardless of what your height is, you probably, as a full grown man, you're not finna do too much more growing, right? If you want to get taller as a man, you're going to have to get height surgery. And who's going through that type of process? So if you naturally short, then you just naturally short. There's nothing you can do about that. But for her to try to equate that to her size, which is something that she has full control over, it's just completely BS. But you got to understand, bro, see, she's not listening. She's just hearing what's hurting her feelings and she's responding according to that and that's what you got to realize because a lot of women do that bro they respond according to their emotion and the logic is going out the window her reasoning and understanding is going out the window so she's not hearing what he actually saying she's just hearing based on what she feels this is what happens with most women you see what i'm saying they'll judge you based on things that you can't even control but even the thing that you can't control she's always just going to be judging you right She'll be judging you on the car that you drive. She'll be judging you on your social media page. She'll judge you on how much money you make. She'll judge you on your height. She'll judge you on your physique. She'll judge you on your past partner. She'll judge you on all these different things, right? But when you put the mirror in her face, now you gaslighting her. When you put the mirror in her face, now you manipulating her. When you put the mirror in her face, now you telling her that she has no value, right? But 
men and women, we all entitled to have our own standards. You understand what I'm saying? But as men, we have logical standards for the most part. If you are if you are a man and you understand that you broke, that you don't have anything going for yourself or you still blue pill or whatever the case may be, you just not getting on your personal development and you ain't really getting to the bag, you shouldn't have the standard of a girl needs to do this and do that for me. A girl needs to submit for me, to submit to me, and she needs to do this. And you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have these unrealistic expectations that you want a girl to fulfill, but you broke. But you you blue pill, but you a simp. You understand what I'm saying? These different type of things. Or for example, let's put the shoe on the other foot. You can't have the standard, like let's say you are out of shape man. You can't have the standard of I'm only gonna deal with girls that's in shape or my girl gotta go to the gym and all this different stuff, but you out of shape. You understand what I'm saying? So when the shoe is on the other foot, let's go back to her. How is you as a woman, you entitled to like whatever type of man that you wanna like, but when it comes down to you not understanding why they don't want you, then you have to realize that, look, you need to look into the mirror because all these women do, do the hypergamy, they want the best option that they can get. But when it comes down to actually qualifying for the options that they want, they're not ready to step up to the plate. You understand what I'm saying? So he's trying to break it down to her like, bro, you, you are entitled to whatever type of man that you want. And that's completely fine. But if you're not attracting them, if they're not committing to you, if they're not dating you, then this is the reason why. Doesn't mean that you don't have no value because this, this, this same woman said that she's a 34 year old virgin, right? So if she's telling the truth and all these other, whatever type of other qualities she has, it's men out there that'll go for that, right? But he's saying for, as far as the men that you want, you don't qualify for them because they looking at your physique and that'll be a red flag. That'll be a deal breaker for them. You understand what I'm saying? Because regardless if she's a five, she still feel like she need a 10. She still feel like you gotta be six feet. You understand what I'm saying? She still feel like you need to make six figures. She still feel like she deserves the best. Because like the dude said in the beginning of the video, he's like, you you are an attractive woman and da 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 and all this different stuff, right? So it's dudes out here that want you. Like I guarantee you this girl has options. I guarantee you this woman got options. I guarantee you it's dudes that's trying to get with her. She just don't want them dudes. You understand what I'm saying? Because of the entitlement. You see what I'm saying? It's it's dude, it's short dudes out there, like like the dude in the podcast. I'm not saying that he wanted her, but it's dudes out there that are short that she's probably rejecting. You know what I'm saying? There's dudes out there that's probably me all the other qualifications qualification that she got, but she's judging them based on X, Y, and Z, and then she feel like she's better than them and she don't need them, and that's not the one that she needs, right? She wants you to be Superman, but she doesn't want to be Superwoman. You understand what I'm saying? She wants you to do X, Y, and Z, but when it's time for her to do it, she 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 can't show up. The manipulation is crazy because just imagine if dude got on the camera and he started crying because it's like oh you you don't you don't like my you don't like me because of my height i don't qualify for you because of my height i must not have no value and then he started crying and getting all in his feelings you see what i'm saying they all be clowning him when her feelings is invested she's not listening to you it's not even about flaws right but it's just about if these is your standards then th you need to look in the mirror and make sure that it makes sense for you to have those standards so it's not even about flaws right because you can have whatever type of standard that you want but does it make sense for you to have those standards for example if i'm if i'm making five thousand dollars a month how can my standards be a, to live a ten thousand dollar a month lifestyle it doesn't make sense if i'm this average average joe schmo why are my standards to have an ig model as my girl to have ig models flooding my dms it doesn't make sense you see what I'm saying? If I'm out of shape, how are my standards to only be dealing with women that's in shape, that women that's going to the gym when I'm a lazy fat bum? It doesn't make sense. But we as men, we have the logic. We can understand these things and we can make it make sense. Let's go to the comments and let's see what some of the people in the comments got to say. She rejected a dude because of something he can't control, but yet she's in tears because the men she wants don't want her because of something she controlled. Think about that. You see what I'm saying, bro? She'll love to put the mirror in your face or you ain't got this so you don't qualify for me. You ain't, make, you ain't making this amount, so you don't qualify for me. You ain't this tall, so you don't qualify for me. But then when it's like, when the dude she won't be like, you don't qualify for me because you ain't my type. You don't qualify for me because you ain't, you, you need to hit the gym. You see what I'm saying? So then she wants to cry. Then it's the end of the world. Then every, all the buildings and everything, start. her world starts crashing down in front of her. That's another example. Like a girl could be ran through an X, Y, and Z just out, out here for the streets, but she still expect to have a ring on her finger. 
A girl could be in a relationship with you, but she still be entertaining other dudes because you ain't put a ring on her finger. She's not gonna fully commit until you put a ring on her finger. But even though when y'all in the dating stage, she's not showing wife qualities, yet she still expects to get wiped up. Let's read some more comments. Everybody loves standards until they don't fit someone else's. Those tears dried up real quick once she realized the manipulation tactic was not working. Then look for a backup to attack them. Exactly, bro. When you put the mirror in her face, she's gonna gaslight you. She's gonna manipulate you. But it's all a tactic. You can't, this is what this is like when a girl cheats on you when she cries. You can't let the manipulation, you can't fall for the manipulation. You can't let it get under your skin and then cop please and be like, okay, yeah, you're right. Or maybe I do need to look at it your way. Because she's looking at it from a flawed perspective. She's looking at it from an emotional perspective. So once the emotions take over everything, the logic and reason is out the window. You see what I'm saying? She hear what she want to hear when her emotions is invested. She crying and all this other stuff because they simply telling her, bro, the dudes that don't, the dudes that you want, they don't want you because they got standards themselves. The majority of the things that come out of her mouth is, is not truth. It's not logic. It's just how she feels in the moment. And she'll always try to twist your words and twist what you're saying to fit her narrative, to validate her emotions, to validate her actions. When you got standards, there's something wrong with that. But when she got standards, you're supposed to just confide in them. You feel me? When she the average type of woman, when she needs, simply needs to lose weight, it, 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 she, you talking too much. You feel me? You, you diminishing, you devaluing her and whatnot. But when she judge you off something you can't even control, it's supposed to be cool. But when you judge her based on something that's completely in her control, you the villain. So if you enjoyed this video, bro, you learned something new, or if y'all want to send me other video topics and whatnot, make sure y'all send it to me on Instagram at Flex Lil Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Flex Lil Koi. And also make sure you hit the description and the pinned comments to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation. I love y'all boys. I'm gone.